All right, hey folks, everything new on the sun. Here's another Airstream update. I got a number of things completed, not the least of which were these new bunk beds. Now, I haven't done a video about this. I haven't done an Airstream video series uh, video in a little while, and so a lot to update you on. So, of course, I have these these uh, beds on either side, but what I did, I have three kids, so we added some bunk beds. And what's nice about these is uh, that there's no ugly legs. Um, there is on this side because I'm still working on that wall. But there's no ugly legs and on either side. And they're actually removable. Um, so they're just kind of locked in there, you can see, uh, with with the 2x2 two two and 1x3. Uh, and the strength of them is in this T-beam configuration of the bed. So these go along this, and this, this is what uh, creates the firm support, 1x3s. Uh, and uh, so it's like a T-beam, uh, not not an I-beam, but a T-beam. And then to keep the kids from rolling off, yeah, this could be a little bit taller, is this uh, 1x4. It should should probably be a 1x5 um, to come up a little bit higher. But it works very well. So it is completely removable if you want. All that's left is 2x2s uh, two on the end. And it's worked pretty well. We uh, slept a night in here to try it out. And, and like I say, it's uh, worked perfectly. This all needs to be uh, varnished. Or stained, really. Stained, actually. I need to find a stain that is the same color as this. And uh, I don't have anything that looks quite like that yet. I need to go to the store and get some. Here is a, this is a new vent, which I have yet to actually place in that location because that has some plexiglass over it. So uh, that, that will be a... Well, that's not going to be a video because I already did a video on the first one. Um, the other nice thing about this uh, is that I had to build this wall, which is perfect because this is uh, going to be the new bathroom area. So i got the little porta potty there. You can see the 2 by 2s uh, that support this wall. And so the curve, of, obviously, of the Airstream, this is the trickiest part when uh, making these walls. And so I was able to do that by kind of tracing out uh, with a pencil and got it close enough um, that... Uh, from uh, one side to the other, it's not too bad. You can't see it too much, and uh, the curve works pretty well. So that worked perfect. I needed a wall on that side, and I got the wall configured and nice and strong with these two by twos. Plenty strong to hold up kids, and I've even be, I've I've been on these beds, and it's worked really well. It's pretty tight in terms of the height here. I can I can certainly sleep in there. Um, however, um, you know, with it, once your head is on top of the pillow, you're uh, you're pretty close to the top here. Again, you're not going to be doing any living up there. It's perfect for sleeping. The nice thing, though, is it's because it's so high, is that uh, you can kind of sit with your back up against here, especially if you're a kid. And it's at the right height where it's there's enough uh, revealing of the uh, power outlet there. And you can also operate um, the, the window there as well, the window latches from below. You can get your hand there. And then, of course, the, uh, the crank for the windows on top. So it's afforded me a room on top and bottom kind of perfectly and really doubled our storage because um, what I find out is when you have a front dinette, you have all your bedding and such on the dinette, and this is what I'm going to talk about uh, soon. This is the next big thing. But you have all your bedding, your pillows, and then uh, come daytime, where do you put all that? Well, I, we will be able to stuff it under here. And I'll show you that. But normally what you do is you take that and you had to stuff it behind a couch or something. But what we can do now is take that and we can stick them in the third bunk. You know, whatever that is. Up, down, wherever. And we can have basically have a bunk for storage. And uh, having that is nice during the day because you can just kind of pile stuff there. Uh, and not uh, not get in the way of kids' beds and, and, you know, all the kids set up. I do have... A whole a new solar setup in this uh, camper as well that I don't think I've really showed you. Um, but that's for another video. I'm not going to show that right now. But that's exciting. So getting some work done. We're trying to get this ready for the spring. Uh, with all the social distancing, where I am, they are going to let uh, people from the province go camping in the campsites. Uh, because there's no one uh, from outside the province able to come in. So we're getting this ready. I'm hoping we can do a few more camping trips than we have in the past. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But this was the next thing. So if you watch my previous videos, we used to have a couch in here. There was a, a little uh, a love seat which kind of rolled out to an air mattress. 
The air mattress got holes in it and it wasn't really custom fit. So what I did here is I custom designed benches. And there's loud uh, dirt bikes going by the window, but I custom designed this. So the original dinette came out from here. It came out this way and there was a gaucho across the front. In this configuration, this makes more sense certainly for our family, a family, a family of five. And uh, so we're going to buy a cushion. I think you can get off one off Amazon, but four inches <clears throat> um, thick. And it is exactly this length. I measured this. I, I built these to accept kind of an out-of-the-box uh, cushion set, off, set up off Amazon. So that works out well. I did uh, get the curve in there of the wood. So these are form fitted so it looks like it's kind of uh, built for the camper and this table actually extends out as well so it's going to extend out and in the down position it's going to create uh, the bed uh, which we will be able to use so we'll show you that all right so the really cool thing that i just recently added is the hinge which uh, I will have posted a how-to video on how to install that hinge. It's a super easy hinge, but it allows the, the table to kind of flip down into the bed position. So all you do to make it into a bed is you uh, put the leg up, kind of tilt this up, it swings down into position, and then when you loose a latch there, and uh, open this up, extend it, and you put basically the, the, the uh, dinner table leaf in there, and this then effectively becomes uh, the bed. So just as a de for demonstration purposes, um, you know, that's how it would be. I, I need a, a bigger leaf in there. But that extends out, and that becomes the whole bed. So very nice, very easy. The other neat thing is that this will also turn into a full-length um, dinette with dinette table. So I'll show you that. And there you go. So you get the idea of how big the table will be. Once I get my proper uh, leaf piece in there, three quarter inch leaf in there, and then it's, it's a full uh, family of five or six dinette, which is perfect. It doesn't extend it extend it all the way. Um, that was uh, a drawback of the length of the cushions that we're getting, but that's a, a small detail that we're not too worried about. But overall, it worked out uh, very well. I had to do some figuring because I didn't want the table to be up above the window um, but what we'll do with this is we'll stain it all the same color as uh, for the bunk beds in the back and uh, I'll put some uh, doors and uh, more coverings on the side of it as well so you can't see underneath it and of course uh, um, allow the the benches to actually open up so uh, you'll be able to store things in there so that's kind of what I'm working on in the Airstream uh, these days Trying to get it ready. Uh, it is almost ready to go and uh, soon will be. I think the main components of this, I just need to uh, stain all this wood. And that's not going to take too long. I just need to get a, a bucket of stain to do that. And then we'll be good to go. Oh, I need to make that leaf for the uh, dinette table as well. Other than that, uh, we are good for another year. This is the sort of thing, at least for me, that I will never stop building. So it doesn't have to be 100% perfect complete I still need to uh, build a wall um, on the back bunk here uh, we're going to need to continue to build the dinette make it a little neater add some trim pieces to it so it looks a little more finished uh, but other than that uh, yeah it's a work in progress it always will be but I'm hoping uh, we're going to be able to use this this summer and I know we will be so it's going to be exciting and we're going to have Hopefully some uh, fun family adventures in it. So thanks for following along, and I'll leave it there. I'll give you one last look of the bunk beds. I think the bunk beds uh, worked out very well, although they're not completely finished. But um, I, I'm very pleased with uh, with my idea for, for creating the, the strength in them laterally, lengthwise, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that's the wall I need to finish so, we don't, so I don't have those 
legs under there, but for now it works. And uh, I'll also be closing in the bathroom as well. Again, over time, um, I don't have time or resources at this point to do that. Um, it's just uh, something for the future. So. I will leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next video.